Once again, we set off in the dark, aiming to get up to the hunting grounds just as the sun was coming up. It was about an hour and a half to two hours trek through the bush to where we wanted to be situated and where we had seen the deer the previous day. It's quite tricky navigating in the bush uh, in the dark. It's very disorientating, especially where we were. It was a very low, flat land, so yeah, you can easily run around in circles if you don't follow your GPS. Just as light was starting to filter through the trees, we were getting close to our area which we wanted to start roaring and, and calling in animals, same area which we had encountered lots and lots of noise the day before. Well, after a bit of calling, we picked up one nice animal responding. He was down the side into this gully here, and yeah, unfortunately, due to the wind direction, we just had to double right back around and head back down from where we came from. Bit of extra walking, but that's what you've got to do. When you hear that animal roaring, you've got to go on in him any way possible. We played cat and mouse with this stag, calling back and forth each time he was moving slowly deeper into this riverbed here. So in we went deep, deep into this stream, right down in this gully. It was getting thick, it was getting dense, it was getting wet. But we were closing in on him, so we just kept pushing. There was plenty of interesting fungi growing all around the forest floor and on trees and rotting trunks. Pretty cool to see. So much interesting stuff here. Awesome place. Right down here in the gully it was getting really thick, these ferns were as tall as we were and very noisy, very hard to, 
to hunt in this scenario. Um, it's amazing. The stag was fairly close, probably about 50 meters, and you can't hear anything. But I'm sure he could. Uh, I'm sure he could hear us. We started closing in on him, found some nice hoof prints, and yeah, it was getting exciting. A lot of noise being made uh, back and forth, and we were getting closer. Really exciting at this stage. There was beautiful little streams all throughout this this valley, and all that looks quite dirty water. It was pristine, clean water, and. Uh, Nice fresh water for these deer to drink, they were hanging around. Well, just a bit of an update. <clears throat> We've crossed down a massive uh, valley here where the river flows through and right down to the bottom and up to the other side. I'll show you where we've come from. Way up there somewhere. Dropped all the way down. Back up on the other side. Basically chasing a a stag. He's just he's just moving along this this ridge face with a group of hinds. We've seen his prints and um, just trying to figure out a plan how to get on him without um, yeah spooking him. It's tricky. So we might head up and try to drop down on them all. Yeah, we'll see, we're just trying to figure that out now, so update you soon. On and on we pushed, up, down, up, down, over streams, through more ferns, back up the hill, back down, and we were just getting so close to him. It was roaring away, we were just so close, we could smell him, there was sign, but we just couldn't see him. Um, it's just like that in Fjordland, it's just so dense, the animal can be 20 metres away, you just, you just can't see him. We stalked this animal for about two to three hours. We finally thought we were going to have a shot. We were so close. He must have been 15 to 20 meters away, just up in this scrub up here. But as you can see, it's quite hard to see through. So that was it. Well, we just couldn't quite close the gap on that, that last day. Creeping and creeping in, each time we've been about 20 meters by the sound, the sound of him. Just moaning away, but um, that's hunting, he got away. Um, yeah, just couldn't close the gap. It's really dense forest, it was back there anyway. So, um, really, only really see 15 meters ahead. So, yeah, we're going to um, push on and make our way kind of back up to where we were yesterday because it was nice and open. There were some good animals around, so push on. Well, in the end, we gave up on the animal, decided to, to move on in another direction. We just couldn't close the gap. So yeah, a bit guttering after the big stalk on him, but hey, all good. Look at where we were in the middle of Fjordland's beautiful forest. Couldn't complain, 
and the fact that it wasn't raining was an absolute bonus, which is a very rare event in Fjordland. Well, what a morning. Spent about three hours chasing that, that one stag up the, up the river here, but um, he was too clever for us. It sounded like a very good animal. Had some hinds with him, so which we haven't seen uh, much of at all. Strip one, so he's probably a bigger one holding the hinds. But um, yeah, we get some food into us and then um, proceed with a bit of an afternoon hunt. Once they uh, chirp back up, everything's gone quite silent, so almost impossible to get on these animals unless they're roaring. All right, had a nice little lunch. Stew, noodles, coffee, energy levels are back up. Blondie just had a good shit in the bush. We're feeling great. So um I'm gonna collect some firewood. It hasn't been rained up here for ages. Plenty of dry water around. Probably gonna come up here tomorrow night and do an overnighter, so get some wood hidden away from the rain, because no doubt it's gonna rain any day. It's Fjordland. Been lucky so far. With plenty of wood around, made a bit of a stash for the next day and uh, put it under our makeshift tent to keep it nice and dry. While I was doing some housekeeping, Blondie was practicing his roar once again. Stays dry. I'm just gonna make some noise until we hear some other noise from some other animals, and then we can um, make a plan for the afternoon. We're up in a mint spot where we heard heaps of noise yesterday afternoon, so let's hope the rain's not too heavy, otherwise, uh, we might call it for the afternoon and get back up early tomorrow and go from there. But Hopefully we can get a half to new hunter. Right, we've just heard the first one. Maybe uh, we've just heard the first one going, making some noise for the afternoon, so lunch break is over. We're gonna head off to investigate. Fingers crossed we stay uh, close. Get a shot at him. As we made our way up the ridge, closing in on the stag we had heard roaring heard a bark down to the left and saw the unmistakable red body of this hind sitting here so got the camera out zoomed in and yeah she was a beautiful animal just still as anything and uh, didn't really care about our presence Maybe she was intrigued by Blondie's grunting and roaring, not sure, but uh, she became more and more comfortable the longer we sat there. After a while, she just decided to sit down, bed herself, and uh, wasn't faced at all. Kept an eye on us, but uh, yeah, it was pretty chilled. Not until looking at the footage after, you can see the the yelling just with his head poked in the trees up to the right so um, that may have been the reason why she was hanging around. It was a pretty cool experience. It's not often that you can get this close to deer in the wild and they don't run away. Uh, so yeah, very cool experience and just a beautiful animal. Lucky we had already shot a few animals a day before and meat wasn't really on the menu um, and I'm happy we didn't kill her after checking the footage and seeing she had a yearling with her so all worked out well.
sorry. get on that stag, um, we were pushing up, 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 and um, he was just yeah, not having a bar of it, he was getting further and further up here, so we um, yeah, didn't want to go for too far tonight, um, so we've looped around a, a new part we haven't explored, and we're just pushing down towards base, and um, yeah, we've got a big, big plan for tomorrow, a big day, so we're going to, um, yeah, just roll our way down here, see, see if there's anything around, otherwise so we're straight up there tomorrow where we were on the first day. Um, spend overnight and that, that tomorrow afternoon we can really push push up high where that last day was and um, don't have to b worry about coming all the way back in the dark. We'll just um, cruise back to tent, camp overnight and um, yeah, exciting. Weather's mint um, at this stage. It's the tiniest drizzle of um, rain. These ferns all throughout the field and bush, just so beautiful. Um, just a bummer, they are quite noisy and hard to stalk deer through. Well, that's us for today. Just about to poke out of the bush. Got closer on that one stag. Saw that hind have taken it but we've got a fair bit of meat already. Um, I'm sure we're gonna bump into some more animals this week so we'll let it be. That hind that was better down. Um, so yeah, pretty cool day out. Unlucky on the big boy but um, that's hunting. So yeah, back to base. Hot beer, hot shower. And do it again tomorrow. Well, we're eating well tonight. Pork roast in the middle of the Ordland. This is how you do it.